Hello my friends, this is Hot Pop Bob here with another video. Today I am going to take you on a quick tour to a very popular all you can eat, yes, I said it, all you can eat hot pot place in Arizona, Jean Shabu. This place is so busy on the weekends that you can expect to wait a couple hours before you can even get seated. Jin Shabu is a Japanese Shabu Shabu hot pot meal that features thin slices of meat that are tender and veggies that you can cook in a large pot. Now you may be asking yourself, what in the world is a Shabu Shabu? Well, in fact, Japanese hot pot gets its name from the Japanese onomatopoeia Shabu Shabu, meaning swish swish, which describes the light swishing of the meat in the simmering broth. Hey, I didn't make this stuff up. At least now, you know the rest of the story. Anyways, when the meal is dipped in the boiling water, the extra fat melts away, making it lighter than regular cooked meat and a rather healthy meat dish. Jin Shabu has an awesome weekday lunch special for only $23.99 for all you can eat and dinner prices starting at $31.99 all you can eat. Guess what day and time we like to go? You guessed it! Lunchtime during the weekday! If you stay to the end of this video, I will also show you a special dessert that is included after you're done with your meal. It's probably one of my favorite desserts of all time. Before we get started, if you haven't already done so, please make sure to subscribe to this channel right now so I can continue posting more food videos for you in the near future. Let's go! Alright, Jin Shabu is located at the same plaza as Lili's International Supermarket on the northeast corner of Dobson Road and Warner Road in Chandler, Arizona. Before we go into the restaurant, let's check out some of the stores in this plaza. As you can see, there are many types of Asian shops and food selections here. You can find a good variety of restaurants to check out in the plaza, such as Magic Noodle Restaurant for fresh hand-pulled noodles, their homemade pot stickers are probably the best in the valley. If you're hungry for some good dim sum, there's a place called Phoenix Palace. There's also a pretty solid Vietnamese restaurant called Unforgettable. They have a couple of locations now in the valley. At the other end of the plaza is an excellent Korean restaurant called Gogi. This is our favorite go-to place for the best hot stone bibimbap and their Korean fried chicken is out of this world. I'll actually do a separate video on that place very soon. Alright, let's start heading into Jean Shabu and check out what this place is all about. From the limited research that I found in the internet, it looks like they were established in 2018. The owners of Jin Shabu are from South Korea who own a restaurant called 100 Kitchen Incorporated. They have several sister restaurants associated with the company in both LA and Seoul. Right when you walk inside, you'll see the place is pretty spacious with tables and booths throughout. You'll also see the self-service station where you can grab all the fresh veggies and also build your own sauces. I'll show you that in a little bit. The place is very inviting and very clean. Let's check out their menu. We come here primarily for the weekday lunch specials that serve Monday through Fridays from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. The lunch prices are only $23.99 per person for the premium meats and a couple dollars extra for the deluxe meats. I'll show you that a little bit later. They also offer the seafood set for an extra $6.99. It comes with shrimp, clams, crab, mussels, and baby octopus. We usually only order the $23.99 special as we're not big eaters and there's already so much food. Kids eat for only $9.99 each and free for the real little ones. You see the beef belly hinoki box on the right? That is included for every table, even for lunch. This is probably the star of the show. Thinly sliced beef belly rolled onto a bed of bean sprouts, Chinese nera, and green onions. It's steamed in this wooden box over the broth that you choose. So tender and flavorful. They have a variety of broths to choose from. You can select up to two per table. We like the Jean Shabu Original and Spicy Katsubushi. I think I pronounced that right. 
Just an FYI, their spicy is not spicy at all. Now on to their meat selections. For the $23.99 lunch option, you can order from the premium selections. There's five meats to choose from. You can start off with one of each if you like. Keep in mind though, it's all you can eat, so you can order as many times as you like. Just make sure not to waste, as they could charge you a leftover charge of $5.99 per person. If you pay the $2 extra per person, you can get the deluxe option that includes everything in the premium. Plus, you also get the Australian lamb and Wagyu beef eye round. Totally up to you. They also have a pretty good selection of alcohol, soju. Any of you had soju before? People say it tastes like sweeter vodka. I've had it before and it just tastes like really strong alcohol. Whether it's made with sweet potatoes, rice, or another starch, all soju is on the sweeter side of spirits. This doesn't mean it tastes like a sugar bomb. Soju is still considered a neutral spirit. The sweetness is subtle and usually described as buttery or malty. I guess I have to drink it many, many more times to really get that. The server brought over the hinoki box and placed it right on top of the hot pot to let it steam for around 15 minutes or so. He turned on the temperature to around 20. Let's take a sneak peek of what it looks like before it's cooked. So pretty! Alright, the server brought in the rest of the meats that we ordered. We got the prime brisket, beef belly, prime chuck eye roll. We actually skipped the pork belly because that's what the hinoki is. And we also skipped the chicken. So much food already. Any of you hungry yet? While we're waiting for the Hanoki box to steam, let's go check out the self-serve station. What do they have here? Chives, bean sprouts, Napa in the back, baby bok choy, assortment of mushrooms. My wife absolutely loves their straw mushrooms. So you see some shredded carrots. I think it's zucchini or a cucumber. We have some edamame in the middle there. Onions, jalapenos, some sort of squash. Water chestnuts, baby carrots. Pretty good variety of veggies. Let's see what's over here. Kimchi. Some other meats there. We have some spicy sausages, some mild sausages, um, some fish balls. There's an assortment of fish balls there. A couple of raw eggs. Always good to have some raw eggs with your hot pot. I see there, there's some uh, ramen noodles. I believe in the back there's those uh, those are potato noodles, the back long uh, white noodles back there. All right, white rice. Okay, moving right along. 
here is the sauce station. But before we do that, let's go on the other side. I think these are the potato noodles. I'm not really sure. Some udon noodles. All you can eat, but just make sure you don't waste. Whatever you put on the plate, make sure you finish it all. Some tofu. Please use sanitizer and gloves before touching the buffet. Thank you. I think those are daikons. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're daikons. That's interesting. I think I saw some pineapple. Now we are at the sauce station. Keep in mind, in Hot Pots, you can make whatever sauce you desire. Whatever flavors you like, you can experiment. If you don't like it, hey, just put it on the side, go back and uh, make another concoction. Totally up to you. This is what my wife likes. Uh, garlic, lots of cilantro, green onions she puts on there. Uh, there's some red pepper flakes you see in the front. After you have hot pot a few times, you're going to be the expert in what sauces you like, what uh, combinations work well together. There's no right, no wrong. That's the fun part of having hot pot. Everybody makes their own sauces. I personally like a lot of garlic, uh, cilantro, onions. I like uh, some soy sauce, some sugar, and this place doesn't have it, but I really like the Chinese sade sauce. But in Shabu Shabu's, it typically doesn't have that in the uh, hot pot places. Lots of sesame oil. Lots of sesame oil. Ponzu sauce. I really like the ponzu sauce. Um, not nearly as salty as soy sauce. Got a little bit of sweetness to it. Some people like that, uh, like the peanut sauce. I'm not a fan of it, but you can try it out. See if you like it. And this right here, if anybody can tell me what this is, for a cocky rice seasoning, it's really, really good. But I really don't know what's totally all in it. Well, that is the seasoning station. You can go ahead and uh, make your own sauces, whichever way you like. Feedback, uh, comments below. Tell me what you like to put as far as sauces and seasoning in your hot pot. All right, it looks like the Hinoki box is steaming right along. It should be ready in a couple minutes now. What I'm gonna do now is I am going to stop talking, have you all experience the Jin Shabu lunch experience visually if you haven't done so already please make sure to subscribe to this channel right now so i can continue posting more food videos in the very near future enjoy the rest of this video also make sure you stick around to the very end of the video where i will show you a bonus dessert that they provide for you free of charge it is one of my favorite all-time desserts ever check it out